Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna play some Barbarian Empire's Hellenistic Legacy. It's uh, a relatively new mod for Rome Total War and I really like this one in particular. It has some like culture elements, for example you can only recruit spe specific units in specific areas depending on the culture of the region, but also it remains pretty faithful to the original game and for those of you who appreciate more the vanilla uh, feeling of the game, then this is a pretty good mod. It has a crazy amount of new units. I think pretty much everything has been reworked entirely, and it's overall a very nice mod. Um, for today's uh, video thing, I'm going to do a let's play with uh, this faction here. The Kingdom of Bosporus It's located up here in this region of uh, modern-day Russia and it, it's, a, it's a Greek kingdom along with many barbarian elements before we start the campaign I'm gonna show you really quick what I mean as you can see we can find in the regular roster of uh, Bosporus we see Greek units for example it's 340, hoplites heavier hoplites and all of these Greek units. As you can see there is no pike units, it's a very traditionally Greek roster, at least the Greek units are traditionally Greek, there's no Macedonian elements. And then we have regular barbarian units like this Foxman, Thracian infantry, Scythian guard and especially the cavalry. The, the cavalry is almost entirely barbarian, Scythian in particular. So now that you know more or less what we're dealing with in terms of uh, unit roster, let's give it a go on the Grand Campaign. Or Imperial Campaign. We're gonna go for huge scale. We're gonna go for hard difficulty. We do want fatigue. Of course we want to manage all the settlements. I don't care about the AI, the AI so sorry. We do want the battle time limit because sometimes, and this is actually something people do sometimes as a mistake, they check this so they have all the time in the world. Well, it has proven to me that it's way better to have the time limit because imagine you're in a very tight spot, you have just managed to repel an attack on a city or on a, like a field battle and then what happens is the enemy still has a few units, but they will not move. You cannot make an attack as you're just completely exhausted, but the enemy can easily defeat you. But for some reason they don't move, it's probably just a, a little bag of the AI. But because they run out of time, you eventually win. It can be sort of cheating, however you want to call it, but it's convenient sometimes, so I'm going to leave it like that. And it makes things more interesting. And we do want the long campaign. I do want this to be a long video or a long series, not a long video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game. All right, four turns per year. Yeah. Oh. oh, I did not get a chance to click that. Oh well. I love the fact that the the years do not just run by extremely fast. It takes actually four turns for one year, which is very nice. I hate when you're like fifty turns in and has already been like fifty years or something. All right, let's see what we have here. We start with two settlements. Hmm. Not bad, we have some Greek heavy infantry here. Identical. And uh, identical. Oh, wow, okay. These are some very similar armies. So what we're gonna do... Do I have a spy? No, I do not have a spy, but I do have a yes, diplomat. Go up there. 
Can I recruit a spy? Because that's going to be very useful. No, no spies. Okay. Excuse me? Okay. You don't want me to click that. Never mind. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, we're not particularly advanced right now. We will have to fix them. This is an interesting feature, these uh, recruitment phases. In order you know, to recruit the units of this batch, you need to have this recruitment phase. And for this one, you need that one, and so on and so forth. Which is a very interesting mechanic. It doesn't, it, the game does, doesn't like you to just recruit whatever you want or whenever you want. And this adds a little bit to the, the challenge of the game, which I find very, very interesting. Now let's see, what can we recruit here? Step spear and classical hoplites and hoplites. Armor hoplites. Oh, Scythian, Scythian guard already. Huh, that's interesting. This is one of our best units, and yeah, we can already recruit it. I will not complain. We can also get Thorak. Thorak, Wow, okay. It really feels like we can recruit a lot of people really quickly. In any case. And at the very end, we get these guys, which doesn't really make sense to me, because we can get these guys before these guys, the Halkas Beasts and the Thorakite. But in any case, I'm not going to question the game and the mechanics. Let's see, what can we build now? What I always want to focus on at the beginning is, you know, growing the economy. We have 10,000 and we have no ports currently so I think I'm gonna do that first in both of my cities and then I do like generally speaking smaller militaries but elite soldiers which means I want to get blacksmiths and other upgrade uh, upgrades for my weapons and also temples. You see, for example, the Shrine of Hephaestus currently gives only plus one for light weapons, but when you get the, the maximum level of the temple, this is all you get, which is very nice. Plus happiness, law, and uh, more law. Alright. And also the same thing with uh, Zeus's temple. So these are the two temples that I really want to have. Which means I'm gonna have one for Zeus and one for Hephaestus. I've noticed that in this game it's relatively easy to get a big economy going so I will not bother too much with uh, the shrines that increase uh, taxes or things like that. I don't really care about it. I'm more into the military aspect and not the economics aspect. So, now that we have all our buildings being built, we are going to manage our army. How far can you go? Lovely, right here. So, this is going to be the meeting point for all the armies. I will pretty much just completely strip everything of any soldiers. Alright. And I my really Lord, like my armies to be very troops. organized. My Lord, so I can easily you know, go yes, through them, the see what I need, Hardware. what I don't need. I have a lot of Greek hoplites, which is bizarre. I've played the other games with the, the Greek city states, Leaving and you do not start with nearly as many hoplites as you do with these ones. Sir, Alright. And yes, Stratigos. Last but not least, my lord, march, sir, and we will lay siege to the city. What, can I see what they have? Sir, they have a sir. lot of men. Oh, and judging by these guys, they are also pretty experienced. So I do not really wish to just waltz in. For now, I'm just gonna wait, see what happens, and. Because I don't have a spy, I cannot 
spy and see what they have. Mm. Hmm. You know what? No, I'm going to do this first. Excuse me. Thank you. So we can actually get the spy. All right. We don't care about the civilized people. Or say the dominant culture. I don't care about that. All right, great. They do not attack us yet. I think the Scythians should be somewhere up here. Why is there such a huge difference in color? What the hell? Oh well. At once. Oh, I am within their borders, but I don't know where they are. No. Oh, this is the end of the border, so it must be somewhere here. Depleted, sir. Well, uh, we lost quite a bit of money. And we're still losing money. That's not good. Yep, we're losing money in Pandicampium. But I also do not want to increase the taxation because we are already in pretty low public order and the population is not very big. Yeah, I will not increase tax at all. I think my economy can handle this for a little bit. Okay. What about you? Yes, oh, miss. there we go. Campus Lazagis? No. I shall no, no. speak with them at once. Let's get some trade rights first. Thank you, sir. Some map information, maybe? Ooh. Hmm. That is a little bit too much. Let's try to bargain a little bit. Let's start with 300. Okay, I think that's a pretty good deal. Alright, thank you. And maybe you will be willing to make an alliance. Yes, you are. Lovely. Now, let's see. Alright. Another big one. Yeah, there are quite a few settlements here. I can make a nice little kingdom in this area and completely dominate. All right. Now next, I want to send my Your diplomat yes. towards here. Here we have the Dacians and the Thracians. I think these are the two people I want to first establish relationships with. Then we can go further down and establish relation with the Greeks or the Macedonians. Epirus is also right here somewhere. It should be. Oh, there they are. They should also be here. And later on, when I get some boats, because I currently do not have any boats, I'm also going to send my boy here in Asia Minor. Establish more trade relationships and uh, perhaps alliances. But for now, let's just move on. Alright, you go south. No more moves, sir. Can I... no, I cannot yet send you there. Too bad. Oh, we already have our boat ready. Nice. Now we're gonna start making one boat. It's annoying that it takes two turns for these boats and I think it takes three for the bigger ones. Not the next level, but the one after. I don't remember the name. Alright. Yes, we saw that. And I don't care about the money. Although I should care about that money. Because we are running low. Okay. Boris! I will try to preserve my better swords. Although, hold on a second. Yes, I will I try to preserve my more elite troops. These Greek troops. And send these guys to die first. Because let's be honest. There's a great difference in quality here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even though these guys are way more numerous, I will send these guys first to die and I'm gonna just, uh, support them however I can with these. But that's... That's a uh, talk for next turn when the battle actually starts. Okay, yep. let's go. 
We do have significantly more mana. Oh. Oh. I don't like that though. I don't like that one bit. This is this is some really good cav. Thankfully, my army consists entirely of spears, so that's not gonna be too big of an issue. These guys are pretty good. Meh, pretty trashy if you ask me. Decent. But yeah, overall it's gonna be perfectly fine. We're gonna do a little save here. Not because I'm scared of losing the battle. Even if that happens, we can just uh, go ahead and remake our army and attack again. What I'm mostly afraid of is the game crashing. You never know what may happen. I've never had a problem with this game. I think maybe like once or twice it crashed in the few weeks that I've been playing, but it's always good to just have a save and see what happens, just in case. All right, now we have paused the game. Uh, I think they're gonna send their cav from that side, most probably, yeah. Which means I'm gonna form a defensive line with my heavy infantry, my Greek infantry, right here. These guys are going to guard the flank, and these guys are going to take the brunt of the battle. These guys will be here to support them. I do not want you to run, and for now I actually don't want you to fire anything either. Alright, these guys, I want them to be stationed here for now. And we'll see if they need to be moved around. All right, everybody, please, for the love of God, run. I said run. All of our infantry in defense mode. Thank you. Okay, here they come. But, yeah, we'll be in position way before they actually manage to reach us. Actually, another thing about it, I should send a couple of units here. I mean, I do have two flanks, so better protect both of them. Warband. Yeah, I don't really care about these guys. I'm not gonna waste any of my ammunition. I just said that, and I am wasting it. Okay. No. No. Why do I do a small charge here with a light cap? That should break them. Yes. And they broke. No, 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 what are you doing? You stay here. Oh, wow, and they're sending no one from that side. Why? <sighs> okay, you guys open fire on these games. Oh, yeah, definitely on these ones. Mm. There you go. Yeah, I'm... Um, Happy with this one? Okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we have a nice line here. I always prefer defensive. Strategies, you know, I make it a nice solid line and then I will just uh, go around flank and uh, destroy the enemy. Alright. Okay, 
Yeah, these guys are holding out here pretty well. Okay, for one second I saw these guys and I thought they were the enemy, I got scared them. Okay, you have used that thing on mission. Alright. Let's just charge them. Yeah. Yeah, they will die soon. Oops. And they did die. Now, you guys make a line right here, please. Fast. Fast. They're coming. Be fast. Thank you. Oops. Nope. Yeah, we don't care about these guys. They're not a threat. These guys are sort of a threat, so. Damn it, I cannot reach them. Alright, let's fire there. Come on, boys. Yes. Alright, this is going very nicely. Oh, these guys will die quite a bit. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. Okay, these guys need some reinforcements here. What are these? We don't care about them. Alright. You guys move up. Actually, no. You stay away where you are. Okay, my boys, I think they can hold there without any problems. Okay, you fire there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, come on, boys. This is hurting me quite a bit. my general in. Yes. All right. Yes. All right, everyone, come here. Thank you. They are going down. Summation messages are going down. Okay, some more men there. I think I have completely misused all my... All my uh, Thracian pelters. Okay. Very nice. Let's go, boys. I'm gonna send the cavalry into first here to clean up the city. Yes. Warban is great. The general is in the port. I would assume that they would, that would be the cavalry unit. In any case. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, these guys are gonna break very fast. And we just kill the general. This battle is more or less. Yep, these are coming down. You know what? Yeah, let's just mess with them a little bit. We're gonna send our entire army to fight them in melee. So really not necessary, but might as well. It's not often that you see an entire army just completely destroying you. So we're gonna give them an action. Taking more than I thought he would. Surprisingly, they're both. That was definitely not a threat. There. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're gonna send these two units here. Send the cavalry there. We're gonna send these guys over here. Uh, excuse me. Alright, there we go. The entire army is going to be stationed within the walls. Although it makes a particular difference, I just want to see my army occupying this area and these poor idiots just trying. Or I could be an absolute prick and just oops, send my cavalry in. Yeah, I think that's what I'll, I'll just send my cavalry. It would be nice if uh, the world is the one to engage primarily. Mm, actually, no, wait, 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 hold on. This unit could be dangerous for the cap, so we need to take it out fast. Alright, good. Very yeah, good. Waiting for orders! Cavalry! Units, fire at will! Let's just uh, fire them. Oh, this is so amusing to me. Okay. Oh, there's still some of these supplies left. Oh, that is not a problem. As long as my general doesn't die like an absolute weeb. Okay. Okay. The heavy gap is dead entirely. Okay, now you push up your stuff, shooting. And. Ooh. Oh, yeah, definitely stop. Oh, no, no. Never mind. We won. The place is ours. I cannot help but wonder why is the place called Neapolis Kithika, which is supposed to be a Greek colony, and yet everything is barbarian. You know, all the buildings and everything was uh, barbarian, so. That doesn't make too much sense to me. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Alright, we need to make a western civilized colony to get this out of the way. Okay, thankfully we already start with some western civilized uh, belief, I guess. I would say culture, but belief, fine with me. I don't really care. 
All right, there's not much going on here. We will definitely have to do this. All right. My lord. Can I take the yes, army out boss. entirely? Once. Of course not. My lord. Sir. Hey, you go back. Perfect. Onward. Let's retrain the army. Damn it. I guess we don't have enough money for that. Alright, at least now we are going to be making... Well, we're not going to be making a profit, but... From 300, we're going to go to 1400. That sounds good to me. And do we have... A sp oh yes, we can recruit the spy. Spy, I said. Thank you. There we go. My lord. Okay, you keep walking. Go to the Dacian capital. Love. Yes, there we go. Sir. So I'm going to send a spy from here, first here, to Olbia. We definitely do need another big city because this is a mess. It has pretty much nothing. Look at this. Ugh. No, at least this city and this city, they still have something. It's not much, but something. So, on to the next turn. Alright, we get another general. There's pretty much nothing going for him, but we're gonna take him anyways. Especially since this guy's about to die. But you. And you. Okay, these guys are still young, but they could die at any moment. At your service. My way. No more oh. Sire. Oh. Yeah, uh, we'll definitely have to find some other way to do this. Okay, no more moves, next let's send you there to see what happens here. Also here, I have no idea what's going on in this area. I've played a few more games before, so I know more or less what's going on in this area in terms of cities. I know there's one here. I don't think there's anything else here, though. But I have no idea what's going on here. I've never used this area. I haven't really been playing this mod for too long, but uh, I think there should be something in this area. You know, based on the map here, okay, there should be something. Okay, there's this one here, so there should be something more in this area. Maybe here or behind the mountain. Alright, we got a shrine. Gonna get another one here. Oh, come on. Wow, things are expensive. Ready to sail! Mm hmm Okay, after this guy... After the diplomat is done with talking to this guy, so we're gonna send him here. And we're gonna send our boat, pick him up, and take him places. Or perhaps I could do that after he has been here and here that also sounds like an idea we'll we'll see how it goes yep i'm losing money i know you don't have to tell me i can see it and i'm sad about it please be fast about it Woo. all right at your service let's see what happens here moving into position yep another massive army I don't, know many, I don't know how many of you do that, but I prefer to use these, the crossings over the rivers. The AI is always extremely keen on just charging in and attacking you. We are comfortably sitting on one of these. So I would be more than happy to oblige and take that spot. Okay. Yeah, we still have these guys to fix as well. Okay, we got a shrine to Zeus. Perfect. Oh, and... Okay. Unfortunately, the shrine doesn't do anything to any of my troops. 
that is fairly annoying. Did I miscalculate something? Yes, I did. It was further down the line, never mind. I was only looking at the the highest level. I think we can increase the taxes just a little bit. Doesn't do much, but it's something. Okay, a little bit here. As long as it's 3%, I am fine with it. Here it's not 3%, even though, even though it's already a low. I don't like that. Let's see. I already build uh, the two shrines that I want here and here to increase my army's capacity, so I don't think I need to do the same for these ones. Hmm, that sounds good. Trade bonus, 70%. Surprisingly, the shrine to Ares does nothing for military, which is so bizarre. He was supposed to be the god of war, so I don't get it. It should be the prime one. If Festus, you know, you know, uh, where he's here. If Festus, you know, fixing weapons and stuff, yeah, that makes perfect sense, but Zeus, not really. And yeah, we have these. I don't get it. In any case, I think I'm gonna go for Hermes here, Neapolis Kithika. But for now, we cannot do anything else, so... Yes, my lord. We're gonna yes, my lord. move this guy oh, and no, end sir. the turn. Alright. I shall speak with them at once. Let's get some trade rights from the Dacians. Thank you very much. Would you like to share with me your borders? What? What is this, mate? Uh, I want map information, and I'm actually gonna give you a hundred. Yes, I'm gonna give you a hundred. I feel very generous today. Uh, this guy, I want. How did he get these four things? I don't know what they are. Well, I know, but I don't know the name. In any case, you know what? Screw you. I don't care about you. I shall speak with First, second, no uh, Thracians. Send the boat. And there's a river settlement. Eventually, we will be going down to get that one. Alright. Oh, and I just noticed we don't have anything to... Ooh, help with that. To retrain the cavalry. Oh well. We do need to focus a little bit more on trade and the economy in general because we're not doing very well. Moving into position. Okay, okay. But for now, can I move you? Oh, I can move. Perfect. And I think I think I'll just go ahead and Run. use this army to attack Old Beer. So we really do need the money. Orders. Fifty-three. Nope, I cannot retrain them yet. A thousand to retrain a, a bunch of farmers. Come on, look at this guy. He looks like farmer. Why do you need so much money? What are you gonna buy? Sheep? Jesus. In any case. Sir. Okay, you go there and let's end the turn. Okay. I shall speak with them. Trader rights, please. Thank you. And now tell me where your country lies. Yeah. You're nice, aren't you? I know you want some alliance. Do you want some alliance? Yes, you do. What a lovely chap. Now, let's send you further south. Depleted, sir. Mm hmm. Nice, is doing well. 
Ah. Oh, lovely. Surprisingly, they do not rebel against me. That is always nice to see. I guess because it's already 52%. Yeah, very soon they're going to be part of our civilization. Uh, and yeah. Let's take this army. We can just send them. Perfect. Hermes, where's Hermes? There we go. And that's it. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do. Just occasionally do a quick save. Yes. And I'm gonna send you further do south. On my way. Where does this go? It looks like it's going. No more moves, sire. No, no, wait. No, no, no. It goes down here. Okay, let's send you down there. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. The glorious Bosporan Navy has been defeated. I don't know how. We were absolutely perfect to win every battle. Oh my god, this is so much gav. Oh, I don't even want to imagine what would happen if we try to face this army on a proper field battle. Oh, it would be a massacre. Alright, let's see. What is going to happen here? I, I'm going to use like a, a U formation around the entrance. The Today, entrance around the crossing here. In my experience, this is a pretty good tactic. I have six units. I'm gonna place them. This. I can already see many things going wrong because the enemy is entirely made up of cavalry, or at least the biggest part of the army is cavalry. That, that will not phase us. And these guys. Eh, for now, just gonna come here. Actually, no, I'm gonna put them right there. Just in case I start shooting the arrows. Uh, yeah, that looks fine to me. I hope this is the right spot, because now to think about it, it could be any spot on this damn thing. But it looks like they're coming this way. Nice. As I was saying before, I really like defensive strategies. And that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love Greek armies. The hoplites that they have, they're just perfect for holding the line against m many, many soldiers. Superior numbers doesn't really matter for these people. And here come the arrows. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we will leave. Oh god, that's not nice. And we should do the same for this side. Oops. And then to press. For some reason, on this mod, the the hold keys are different. For example, to run, it's not R like normally. It's H. I have no idea why they chose that. Okay, let's put them back in the proper unit, the proper group. Yeah, group formations. Okay. Would you be so kind as to come in? Or just leave and go somewhere else? Because, boy, it's a lot of you. Oh god, and all of them, or at least most of them. Our archers and uh, like skirmishers, generally. Do they have a single like dismounted unit, infantry unit? I mean, oh, it doesn't look like everything. Literally, every single one of the units is a mounted unit. Jesus, it's definitely going to hurt me a lot. Units. 
And so it begins. Okay, you do your thing. Yeah, let's scare the horses. That's definitely gonna scare them. Good lord, here it comes. Hit handling maidens. Light cavalry. They're called light cavalry, yet they're so heavily armed. Actually, hold on. Oh, they don't have any javelins or arrows or like that, so we're not gonna fire yet. And especially since they are a light unit, I think my infantry can take care of it. Okay, come on. Come on. Come and die, please. Okay. Oh, come on. We already lost the guy and we haven't killed a single one of them. Jesus. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have plenty of experience now. I love how they're using their axes as if they are swords. And they're trying to stab with you just stab with an axe, honey. Alright, here comes the heavy cavalry. Let's start firing now. This is what worries me the most in terms of uh, melee combat. This is what worries me the most, generally. All these arrow welding people. Oh god. It's gonna be a pain in the backside. Excuse me, are you gonna fire something? Ooh. We're taking quite a beating. I don't like that. Okay, move a bit out of the way, please. Oh wow, we are really suffering here. Yeah, that's it. That's more like it. Come on. We need to unload all, all our javelins on these guys, otherwise we're gonna suffer quite a bit. Just, just, just fire. I don't care where, just fire. Thank you. Yes, 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 that's way more like it. Can you please fire here? Come on, dude, just... Just do your thing, just fire your javelins. Thank you. Oh wow, we're really taking a beating here. I don't like it. Okay, we need to send these guys in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here comes the rest of the army. Okay, let's go beating this chunk of their army. Alright, come on boys, come on. Oh, here come the arrows. Here come the arrows. Okay, we're gonna go on the offensive because they will just slaughter us with arrows and javelins. Yeah, they're doing exactly that, aren't they? Oh my god. Just. We need to just go forwards. Oh my goodness. My unit was just destroyed. Oh boy. I hate you. Go here. This is where I'm telling you to go. Why are you going after that guy? Oh my god. My general. He's gonna die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ooh. 
I still want to get him still alive. Please be alive. Yep, he's still right alive. Right. Please remain alive. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What are you doing there? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this battle. We already lost here so many men. Oh no, 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 no. They're still firing at him. Yeah, move, move, indeed. Oh my, there's only one bodyguard left. This is not going to end very well. Come on, keep firing. Well, at least it looks like everybody here is engaged in melee combat. It's something. For some things, still. Okay, the morale is still very good, actually. I will not complain. It's like a little circle surrounded by a horde of cavalry. Oh, okay, you just keep firing whatever you can fire. What can you do? We lost. We have lost. 60% of our army, they have lost 50. Okay, you know what? Screw it, we go in. We go in, guns blazing. Surprisingly, we still have very confident men. Hey, that's what I said about defensive, strong defensive units. They're not gonna break unless they are literally chopped to pieces. This is always very appreciated. Come on, boys. Is there no end to this horseman? Well, it's clearly an end to my horsemen, but I don't like that. Oh, look how many we lost. Come on, boys, you can do it. I still have some hope, even though it doesn't look li like we're gonna win. 67 to 62. It's not too bad, actually. We might be able to win, but we'll fly a bit there's a mother army waiting outside of the city. So we definitely have to retreat, retrain, and get the hell out. Get the hell out, then do these things. They're supposed to be spearmen. Okay, that's such a nice shot. Look at that. It does look like a monster pit. There should be some death metal playing in the background. Come on, boys. Please. Please, 
green. They definitely seem fewer than before. Some of them are breaking right here. Some of them are shaking. Actually, all of them. Oh, morale-wise, I just realized they're not doing well. Okay, let's try to bring the general slightly closer. Okay, my infantry's morale is pretty good, so I don't worry too much about them. I do worry about these guys. Still good. Yeah, we're definitely closing the gap of uh, the counters. Come on, boys, you can do this. Okay, the morale of all our troops has gone up. Okay, okay, we can still do this. Come on. What the hell is this guy doing? Yes, we won. Yep, we did it. Yep, that's a side I love to see. I assume some of them are still fighting their death. Yes. Yeah. Well, that is fine. All right, we won. But it's a very it's a very pyrrhic victory, but it's still a victory. It's gonna take a long time that you retrain the army because we've lost so many and the economy is still in its infancy. Alright, end the battle. Pretty good results, even though we had fewer men. Alright. Yep, as I said, he will die soon. Where is the second army? Horus. That's weird. Anyways, Onward. now you guys Onward. go Onward. back. Onward. You absolutely go back. My lord. And Check my what happens down here. There is nothing down here. Inside. Why then? Is it just it's up out here? Oh, I'll just Can't say it like this. Sir. Now, what is okay? Let's do some more economy related things. Okay, okay just a few final I things, and we're gonna wrap this episode up pretty soon because it's been around an hour. Okay, thank you for that. And now give me all the information you have. You suck. We must decline. We cannot offer anything in return. I quite literally asked you what I want in return. You could have given me that. Now give me that. How are you so stupid, mate? I shall speak with them. Ah. And a poor little She's navy ready. too. Set sail! Yeah, just stand there and see what happens. That's all you're capable of, anyways. Can I be of service? I shall speak with them at once. Never mind. What is? This guy's a pretty good general, though. Yeah, I definitely don't have money for these guys. But yeah, things are going relatively well. I do want another spy to be in this area and another one to be in this area. But uh, yeah, I think this is all we have time for today. So we are gonna wrap this game up right now. See you next time.